Hi everybody and welcome back down to the koi pond and welcome back to the poly tunnel again. Um, today is part four of the pond build what you can see behind me. My wood has turned up to complete the remaining sides of the pond. So we can crack on with that today. Uh, if you're new to the channel then please smash that subscribe button and hit that bell for future notifications. Please like this video. And today we are going to be unpacking the liner for this pond, which has also come today. So now I have everything in place to finish this um, pond off. So let's get on with this little unpacking of the pond liner. And then we can crack on with the three sides of the pond. So I, I hope you enjoy part four of this video. So before we crack on with the cutting the wood and screwing it all to the uh, pond, let's uh, open this pond liner. So it's basically just come about five minutes ago. So the pond liner for the pond is in here. knife careful not to so there it is there's the pond liner for the pond that's come now we can crack on and finish the pond we've got the first bit of wood in place ready to measure and to chop i've got my circular saw to do the chopping so yeah, let's go and measure the back of the pond so I can uh, cut this bit of wood up. So as we go into the polytunnel, we need to measure the back bit. So I'll do that and then I'll get back to you. So we'll just do a quick measure. Three and a half foot. So now I've got the first line marked off with a marker and then I'll just put a bit of wood just to help the circular saw run in a straight line. So I cut this 
and then I'll get back to you. So give us five minutes and I'll be back. So there, there's one strip of the wood cut to the height I need it. Now I just need to cut the width. So I'll mark it all back up and I'll get back to you as soon as I've done that. If you like the video so far then give it a thumbs up and I'll be back in a moment. So there's the other line. So let's just cut it out. So that's that section done. So let's go and pull it inside the plate tunnel and uh, sort it out, screw it to the pond. So I'll be back in a, a minute. As you can see now, I've just opened the back of the poly tunnel to slide this uh, back in. So I'll just do that and get back to you. As you can see now, I've screwed the back to the back so we are going to do the side plus I've um, screwed some bolts into the concrete and a post at the back of the wall of the pond just to give it extra support and I'll show you that in a minute so I'll just cut this um, piece of wood for this side of the pond now. You can watch me do it. That's that bit cut. I'll just remark everything and then get back to you. So there, I've marked it again where I need to cut. So let's get on with the chopping.
So that, that bit cut. So I'm just going to line it up with the pond and I'll get back to you. So that's the another side in. As you can see. So side, back, and front. I need to screw the support beam at the front and sides. Well, that'll be um, another video strengthening the pond. That'll be part five strengthening the pond. All I need to do now is just cut another piece and put it there. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you. So just give us a few minutes. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new and press that bell for future notifications. And I'll be back in a moment. I'll leave the other side until tomorrow morning due to the daughter coming home from school. So, there's that side. There's that side, and we'll do that tomorrow when the daughter goes back to school. She's going to be home in about five minutes. This is the beam What's anchored to the floor. You can see down there, that's solid to the floor. It'll have them all the way around the pond. So until tomorrow morning people, we'll carry on with part four tomorrow. Bye for now. Hi everybody and good morning. Welcome back to part four, adding the side to the pond. Yesterday I started it, but unfortunately I didn't quite finish it due to the daughter coming home from school. But now she's gone back to school, I can get the last panel in place. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button and hit that bell for future notifications. The little sign will ping up now. If you like this video then please smash the like if you don't then give it a thumbs down so without any further ado let's continue with part four adding the sides to the pond so I'll just go and get the final board so it can be measured and cut so yeah I'll be back in a minute that's the board ready to be cut. You're wondering what thickness board I'm using, just in case any of you guys want to do the same. It's 18 mil, millimeter thick OSC, OSB3 boards, construction boards. But um, I'm doubling this where the walls are on the outside and inside so we double the thickness throughout the pond for that extra strength so that's how the thickness of the boards I'm using 18 mil so I'll just go and get my uh, bits and bobs and I'll be back shortly so all this pond building is to put all these fry into. So obviously they are outgrowing this vat now. So we're doing it to put these lot in. And for my new adventure 
if you go to my Facebook page there's updates on my new adventure being added daily we're going to take a look at what I'm up to down here at the koi pond so yeah let's get back to the the building of the pond and I'll get back to you when we're all set back up so I'll just mark the line where I need it to be it's got a bit cold now so my jacket's gone on Got to start chopping. That's everything in place. Uh, all I need to do now is just uh, cut the board to size. So let's crack on. Looks like this rain's going to come. So that's that bit done, now let's do the width ways and I'll get back to you once I've measured it all up. Right, I'm going to cut this now, I've marked it, the rain started to come so I'm just going to freelance cut it. So that's the cutting done. So it started to rain, so when it stops raining, I'll get back to you. 
Well, the rain has eased off a little bit, so I'm just going to quickly screw these sides in. I've had to take the cover off so I can get to the sides because the um, can't get the drill in from the inside. I uh, just want to get these screws in. I'm just, just getting it level now. It's get it screwed in. So we'll just screw these screws in. The screws I'm using are like one inch wood screws. I've got the screws in this side. Well, the pond is now taking shape quite nicely. That's all four sides on. So, yeah, excellent progress. That concludes part four, putting the sides on the pond. Please look out for part five. I'll put details on the screen now. So look out for that video. If you're new to the channel, then please smash that subscribe and hit that bell for future notifications. I hope you've enjoyed watching the DIY pond build and until the next video happy ponding and thank you for watching